Hello everyone, I'm Brian from Orchids by Brian and today I am at Silva Orchids in New Jersey to show you some of the plants that they have in bloom here. This is a phenomenal nursery. Let me just start by saying that. They have an amazing group of staff that know so much about the plants they grow. They've been growing for since the 1950s and it's a multiple generation family. I'm excited to highlight their greenhouses and show you some of the plants they have in bloom. So without further ado, let's tour Silva Orchids here in New Jersey. All right, I am inside of Silva Orchids here in New Jersey, just about an hour outside of New York, and they have a fantastic collection of orchids in bloom. So I'm excited to start this tour. All right, let's start with this gorgeous Cattleya. Look at the colors. One thing I love about Silva Orchids, first off of the folks, um, that's what I love the most about these places. Um, they have amazing, helpful orchid experts that own the store. Joe, Tony, Gus, all fantastic people. And I'm so thrilled to be here and highlight all the plants that they have. And we also have this beautiful Cattleya here. I'm gonna put this down there for a second. This is a gorgeous plant as well. The one thing that I love about this, for those folks who have limited space, like me, and they grow in the home, the one thing that Silva Orchid specializes in is making some of these larger Cattleyas, making hybrids that are more compact, and they can grow in the home, on shelves, which I think is fantastic, uh, especially for me, somebody who has limited space. Um, Look at the flares on the petals on this Cattleya. That is gorgeous. Um, I love this plant and there's so many flowers on this one stem. Let's see, this is the name here. RLC, Jennifer Off. Crossed by RLC, Irving Deitch Cross, John Mossman. Beautiful, beautiful plant. Now, Silva Orchids has been around since the 50s. And one thing that's really fantastic, I'll show you in one second after I highlight this absolutely beautiful Cymbidium Orchid. And uh, I can see the name. Let's see if I can highlight it. There it is. Hopefully it'll focus for you. That's Cymbidium Marcy Floor. Um, is they have the old style glass greenhouse. And I'll show you the other side because it has like the curved glass that you, you rarely see. Um, here's a classic, this is RLC Busy Bev. Blue Jewel is a classic Cattleya that I used to have in my collection and uh, it's stunning. It was just a little bit too large for, for my grow space, which is why I don't have it, but it grows really great in the house. And then of course, check out this guy. You probably saw him when I first walked in. This is stunning. Here's the name. Let's see, there it is. Sorry about that. Really, really nice plant. Uh, as I was starting to say here a minute ago, I keep getting distracted by these beautiful blooms. Um, they have a lot of historic Cattleya plants here at Silva Orchids, which I think is really exciting. For those of you who love the history of orchid growing, orchids have been grown for, for years, hundreds of years. Um, this is LC Tida Eagle. I all. And that's an AMAOS hybrid. Um, so they have some of the classic Cattleyas that have been grown for many years. Let's see if I can get a good view of this plant. There you go. Uh, it's a little bit challenging to get to the name, but. It has a ton of flowers on the way. All right, so we have this beautiful purple pink Cattleya with the white frilly lip and the yellow 
and purple is so vibrant and bright. Um, let's see. Do you see the tag? There it is. LC Victoria Fascination. Victoria Cam Fascination. Um, they also, which I love, have their own laboratory and they hybridize their own plants here, which I think is fantastic. You don't always see that a lot of the, a lot of these nurseries have the capability of uh, of hybridizing their own plants. Now, I would I would be doing this place a disservice if I didn't highlight all of these beautiful uh, plants that aren't technically orchids, but just I mean phenomenal specimens. Um, they have a lot of beautiful fruit trees in here, and, uh, and I'll be highlighting those throughout the tour as well. Here's a beautiful Oncidium, hybrid Oncidium maculata crossed with Oncidium hostilabium. And these Oncidiums are really spectacular. Look at that brown cranberry color. And also, I know I've had some folks who wanted me to describe some of the scents. And I will say that this room <laughs> standing right here smells amazing. The Catlia smell fantastic. It is a little cloudy and cool today. Um, there we go. There's the name of this guy. Uh, so I'm sure it smells even better when the weather is, is sunny. Now this is a gorgeous, gorgeous Calia with a really bright red lip and the vibrant yellow. And it even has, it's, it's probably the darkest yellow on a Calia that I've seen. This is LC Cham Su Fuji. And that's amazing. I'm not sure if that's from the Japanese orchid growers, J-O-G-A. Not 100% sure exactly um and we'll come over here because there is a cymbidium it is just about on its way out but i think we got lucky and we have one flower remaining over here that's uh that's still in bloom or freshly bloomed and they look like they get dark darker when they are finishing up so absolutely stunning plants they have here and huge ant plants and they just have like some of the largest specimen size cattleyas that that i've seen i'm gonna show you uh one that is just bonkers <laughs> lelia and seps cross here's another beautiful cattleya this guy is get the tag here hopefully you can see that well it's RLC Carolina Splendor is the name of this plant now I had a great opportunity to chat with Joe and Gus while I was here and learn a little bit about their business um, They've been growing orchids for many, many generations, and they have just, you can tell they put a lot of love, a lot of care, a lot of effort into their growing operations here. Um, you know, the plants that you'll see are perhaps some of the best specimens that, that I've seen perhaps in a greenhouse, and uh, it's exciting. I love seeing that and love seeing new generations, you know, folks my age that, you know, are taking over businesses like this because, you know, without, without those new generations, you know, who takes over these incredible orchid nurseries that we get to build our collections with and foster our hobbies. So I'm really thankful for the opportunity to visit Silva Orchids here in New Jersey. Like I said, they're 
about an hour outside of New York City. So if you're in the area, it's most definitely worth the visit. And I did hear that they'll be expanding their retail hours. So good opportunity to stop in. Now this white Catlia, this is the Tida Eagle, another uh, Tida Eagle similar to what we saw uh, a little bit earlier on. Smells <laughs> unbelievable. Absolutely amazing fragrance on that plant. Now this guy, I think is really, really fantastic. It has these fine, darker purple speckles. And I'll see if I can get the name. Let's see, there we go. I think it's Catlia Lodigesii, is what I'm guessing. Um, and Catlia Lodigesii is one of my favorites. Um, I have one in my collection, a Cerulea uh, version of it, and they are great growers. Here's another beautiful white Catlia. Oops, sorry about that, folks. Look at the tag. Here's the tag, the name on that one. Catlia Earl Imperialis and FCC AOS Award winner. And here is another stunning plant. Catlia. A lot of guests, yeah, Sweetheart Cross Neptune. Sib. Let me put the tag back in there. And I'll highlight the flower one more time. All right. Now, check out this Cymbidium. These, this is what I'm talking about, about those specimen plants that are just phenomenal. I mean, look at how many flowers are on this. Um, Cymbidium, it does have a light fragrance, which is nice. Um, kind of flowery, orchid fragrance. And the name is right here. Gorgeous plant. And I love these flowers. Wow. There's a reason these plants were used in flower arrangements to this day. Again, a nice white Catlia. This is Catlia Tida Eagle again. And here's also a nice purple Catlia. There's the name. Like I said, they do have some plants that are blooming. Similar plants blooming if you want various options. Now, here is one of my favorite orchids. Um, hopefully, there we go, light's a little bit better there. This is Santa Barbara Sunset, Alalia Anceps Cross. Let me see if I can get to the name tag over here. I do see it. Here it is. There we go. Lelia Santa Barbara Sunset Showtime. HCC AOS. Amazing plant. And it has many more spikes on the way. So I'm excited to see what that plant looks like once it's fully bloomed. Now here is another amazing Cymbidium. Nice yellow with little cranberry speckling on the bottom of the labellum or the lip. And that is a pretty plant. And that will probably be just as stunning as that pink one with all these flowers on the way. It has six spikes. That is fantastic. Now, we have more Cymbidium orchids if you're interested in buying some that aren't in bloom quite yet. Now check out this guy. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is a Lelia Anceps. Elizabeth, 
Elizabeth's eyes. There is named after Elizabeth Taylor, if I were correct. Um, and it's one of their crosses, a silver orchid's cross. Really spectacular. Now we have some other plants here that are in bloom. These are mounted. They have a great selection of mounted Calia orchids, which is exciting. Calia's, uh, Calia Alliance, I should say. And let me share one more thing, not to get distracted, but check out that. That's the same plant that we just saw, but mounted on a piece of driftwood. And I love it. What a cool plant. That's really cool. And then it looks like they have a purple. Lately over here. And I believe this is the name. But really spectacular flowers. All right, so now let's keep walking into their grow space. Like I said, they have these palms growing in here that help shade some of the plants. Now this is a very beautiful orchid. Um, oh, there's the name. Cataglaca. Very pretty flower. I like the slight pink inside that plant. All right. Now over here we have a nice Catlia that is unfortunately out of bloom. We missed it. But I just want to highlight their greenhouse space. And now, like I was saying before, some of their citrus trees, look at this. I don't know if these are kumquats or clementines, tiny oranges. Very cool. You definitely get a variety of plants, but these guys are the showstoppers. The orchids. All right, so let's keep walking down here because we have plenty more to see. Check out this gorgeous, gorgeous specimen. Crisp white flowers. And there is a lot of them. I do see the name, but it's on the other side, so I'm not gonna reach and get that at this time, but I'll try to get it on the way back on the other side, because there are some plants that I'm not gonna be able to capture. Now, it has a couple of blooms right now. Let's see if that'll focus for you, hopefully. This is a Dendrobium kingianum. Look at how many spikes and buds it has. That is gonna be a show when it does flower. And these flowers are gorgeous. There you go. Now imagine that with like a hundred flowers. <laughs> All right, here's another one of these. A lot of Gessii type. Catlayas, probably one of my favorites. I'm a really big fan of those. And it's exciting to see a greenhouse that has a really spectacular variety of plants too. Now, way up there, I'm gonna zoom in. Is 
is a white, probably Alba variety of that cat or that Lelia Anceps. Um, fortunately, can't get to the name well, but stunning plant. Now this this flower smells fantastic. Um, it is. I don't even know how to describe it. Almost like a citrusy scent, but I'm guessing it is a Nidosa hybrid. And let's see if I can get the name here. There we are. No, yeah, it is. It is a Nidosa hybrid. Or Brassia, sorry. Um, Brassia Little Star crossed with Epicatlia Lance Sherbert. That is beautiful. Really, really nice flowers. And they smell amazing. All right. Another cute little lot of guess the eye type. And over here we have Big purple Calia that's just about to open. I'd be excited to see that. If you haven't noticed, they specialize in Catlias. Like I said, some of the uh, making some of the larger Catlias into a more compact variety for growing in the home. Now something over here smells unbelievable I'm I'm guessing it's this uh, what is this plant um, I can't seem to get the tag out I don't want to I don't want to pull it or hurt the plant or you know break the tag more so but it smells super super fragrant almost like grape candy I don't know how to best describe it but that was, that was definitely, it smells the entire area up. Um, and it has a delicious fragrance. Here's a couple of white catalias. Don't see the tag that are opening up here. That will definitely be a showy specimen. And now here, These are cute. This is Catlia Maxima. Very cool flowers. Very, very neat. And then check out this. Look at, it's almost like a painting on the inside of this plant. And I think that plant we just passed was a Perseviliana. Now this, this flower smells extremely fragrant, also floral scent, almost like grape, very strong. I am probably two feet away from this plant and it smells incredible. Um, looks like the tag is broken. Or actually, no, I'm sorry, it's a different plant. This is Catlia Trinae. Trinae. But beautiful flowers. Love that type of flower. My gosh. Now, this monster of a dendrobium. Species dendrobium with beautiful white flowers with nice speckling in the lip area and you can see all the spikes on this plant i don't see a tag actually i might do i might see a tag let's see if we're gonna get lucky i can't definitely can't take it out there's a reason this plant is humongous but still, like I said, beautiful specimen to look at. 
This is an Alba version of that Dendrobium kingianum that we saw earlier. Another fantastic specimen plant. And look at the flowers coming on this guy. He will also have hundreds and hundreds of flowers. But beautiful plant. Kingianums, they require that cool, dry period to initiate spike. So if that is a type of plant you're looking for, keep that in mind. Now, this large, beautiful red Catlia is in bloom and it has numerous spikes and buds. Um, I don't see the name, but it is going to their shows. So these are some of the plants that they'll be getting ready for shows. Check out that flower. Wow. Like I said, some of these plants are their own hybrids, which is ex exciting. Here's some of their seedlings that they're growing up um, that will soon be available. And these plants, like I said, are being prepared for the shows. And now here are some more beautiful Catlias that they have in bloom in that first greenhouse. I can see the tag, but it looks like it might be broken. I don't want to break it even more. So, like I said, you can buy from Silva Orchids online. So, if there are any plants, any flowers that you see here, like I said, Joe, Tony, Gus, all super, super familiar, very educated on orchids and their care. Um, and you know, what you might need to consider when you grow them. So feel free to share this video or share a screenshot of these plants if, uh, if they interest you. And I'm sure they can help either find that very plant, because many of these ones that I'm showing you are for sale, or they are for sale, sorry. Um, and you can add it to your collection. Now this guy, Check out that flower. Another very fragrant Catlea. Let's see if I can get the name here. There it is. Can you see that? Hopefully. There we go. Nice. Very, very nice plant. The next greenhouse that we go to will be highlighting some of the old historic catlayas that they have here in bloom. This plant smells incredible. Super floral fragrance on these big purple flowers. Um, and I'll grab the tag and show you that here. Here's the name of this guy. RLC. Tokyo Bay. Victory. Beautiful plant, wow. The flower, as you can see here, is amazing. All right, here we have some more catlayas that are about to open, but this is one that I did see when I walked their greenhouse space that is really really impressive um i think i might have shown you another one earlier let me see if i can the tag is really in there unfortunately but this plant is beautiful and the flower is so delicate and pink and it's huge as you can see it's probably the size of the palm of my hand really fantastic wow And this is a beautiful well-shaped flower. A lot of guests see I. Yep, here's the name.
for those folks that are interested. There we go. Had to get the tag back in there. These are some of my favorite types of flowers. I love when they have these splashes of darker colors and whites that accent some of the petals of the flower. And I just love how these flowers are. I just added a plant similar to this to my collection that I am thrilled to show. Check out this beautiful cerulea, Cattleya orchid. Looks like I just caught it on the way out. Um, let's see if we can get the name possibly on the side. Nope, I can't see the name on that plant, unfortunately. But still, this looks like it may be another one of those plants. And we'll see if it has a tag. It does. Um, and I don't see the name on the tag. I'm guessing it may be one of their newer hybrids. Like I said, they have a lot of brand new hybrids that they grew on their own right here. Here's another view of that King Anum that we saw on the other side. And this guy that was hiding behind it. Nice delicate lip, almost white, light pink with yellow. And I do have the name here. There we go. Gorgeous plant. And now here's that Elba, the white. Let I guess the eye flower again from this angle. Really phenomenal. Okay. So now we are gonna go and transition over to the next greenhouse. Okay. So now we are in their second greenhouse and this is where a lot of those compact hybrids live that for those of you who may have limited space if you're interested in those, they have some fantastic options. But this is a larger Calea. The name is grown into the plant, so I'm not gonna be able to get the name of this orchid, but it is a beautiful specimen. Now, I am taking home one of these. Cattleya persiviliana or the Christmas Cattleya. And these are beautiful. Really fantastic plants. And like I said, here are some of their compact hybrids that are for sale. And here's one of the flowers. I'll snag the, the name of it on the way out, if I remember. But I'm gonna keep going this way. We have some nice dendrobium orchids. And uh, before I go any further, like I was mentioning before, this is that 100-year-old curved glass greenhouse that you really don't see very often anymore. You see a lot of the plastic type greenhouses. These, this type of greenhouse is, is really special. So thrilled to be able to share that with you folks. Another beautiful, large, white Cattleya. Uh, this does have a tag. Will I be able to get to it is the question. I will. So here's the name. We did see one of these earlier. 
Cattleya Earl Imperialis. And that is this stunning large white Cattleya. And it looks like they have a little red Cattleya on the way. And nice compact size too. Again, a lot of the orchids that I try to highlight are great for growing in the home because that's where I grow. And not everyone has a greenhouse, but doesn't mean you can't grow orchids. The one thing that I do like about Silva, if you do live on the East Coast, the plants here they grow them in New Jersey. And emphasis on grow. These folks will, they are a nursery. They take care of their plants. They grow them from seed to seedling. And all the way up until something like this, blooming size plant. And they're acclimated to this temperature, which is really special. This is a Cattleya Nancy off Linwood. A classic white Cattleya. This plant, the flower is the size of my hand. A lot of those historic orchids you'll see in this greenhouse which I think makes Silva really special. You know, this, this is definitely a historic orchid lover's paradise. If you like the plants that have been around for hundreds of years in cultivation, this is your spot. Now, this is one of the most amazing Lelia Anceps that I've seen. This is the one named after Elizabeth Taylor, the Elizabeth Eyes. Look at the size of that orchid. And it is mounted, which is spectacular. I love mounted orchids. How they grow in the wild. Now this guy, another beautiful, large white Cattleya. Let's see, there's the name. RLC Pastoral Innocence. And now, this is, I think, on its way out. Hopefully, my phone's having a little difficulty focusing. But this little guy is a dendrobium, tetragonum. Very unique. Ah, dendrobium flower. And we have this perfect little dendrobium here. And behind it is another incredible large white cat lamp. Now this is a very unique plant. I don't think I've ever seen a Cattleya like this. It is the Gulf Green Cross of Green Dragon. 
Dragoon. But look at this flower. It has the like purple right at the tip of the lip, which is really neat. I've never seen anything like that. All right. Now, this is perhaps one of my favorite spaces in their entire greenhouse because the plants in here are going off. They are incredible, including this spectacular large Catlaya. This is the name of this stunning red pink Catlaya orchid. Really nice color and the you really can't appreciate it on the camera but the bottom of the lip, this frilly lip is almost like a highlighter fluorescent pink. It's very, very nice. Now tell me this is not unbelievable. Huge flower, very delicate, nice spacing on the flower. I don't know. I don't see the name. Oh, I do see the name. Will it come out easily? Is the question. It will. Oh, it doesn't seem to have that. It is a cross, one of their crosses. 1987. I'll put that back there, but I'll highlight the flower again because it's just amazing. All right, now these are getting ready for their shows. So if you see that Silva Orchids is gonna be vending at one of the shows in your area, stop by and visit them. Their plants are grown with care. They are quality orchids. I don't need to tell you that. The video of this place <laughs> proves it. So really phenomenal plants and they have a lot of orchids that are in bud that are about to bloom so there's a lot more to see some dendrobiums here here's a stunning cymbidium that is in bloom similar to the one that we saw earlier in the tour not all of these have names right now but like I said, it's likely because they're going to be going to the show. Now, this is just like a super green, lime green orchid, large Catlia flowers. Looks like there's three huge flowers on this one sheath. I don't know if the name is here. It is. So here's Catlia. Grant Eichler Lynette. that tag back in here. You can look at this beautiful plant again. Now here's another super large set of white Catlia flowers. Yellow in the lip. It does have a tag. Um, let's see. There's a couple notes about plants, but I think this tag here, there it is, it's a Lelia purpurata rex. Plant was judged, and it is gorgeous. I do have plans, whoops, I do have plans to highlight some of the shows coming up in the Northeast, so stay tuned for that. Be excited to show you what they have at the shows. Check out this yellow Catlia, the 
plants is way in the back. I'm not going to try to reach over for it because it's very far back there. Um, but or actually, you know what? You might be like, lucky, folks. Actually, you are. Um, I don't see the name on it, but it's a stunning, stunning plant. Here's a very delicate little vandacious type orchid. Looks like it's a Neophonidia or Neophonicia. Here is the name. Neostylus lucneri, blue moon. Now, over here, another huge white Catlia. See if the name will come out for me. Another Nancy off Linwood. Really nice plant. I want to. I want to really want to take a minute here to thank the folks at Silva Orchids for letting me stop in to film this tour for all of you. It's important to stop in and visit your local nurseries and greenhouses. Support, learn about the plants they have and how to grow the plants you have and diversify your collection. You know, if we don't support nurseries, and this is my goal with this channel, we will not have them to expand our collections without these nurseries. We do not get these gorgeous plants. I really like this salmon and pink colored Cattleya. Um, it looks like it is a cross of some kind. And they are going to clone this plant soon. Let's see if I can get the name of it. There we go. Very nice. This is a very unique flower. Something different from what we've seen so far. And here is uh, another classic, King George Serendipity. If I'm correct, I think actually, you know what, I might, I might have lied to you. I did, I'm sorry. Oh no, I'm sorry, it is. George King, Serendipity. I was right. See, I doubted myself. Never doubt yourself. <laughs> and you'll see all these seed pods. This is a seed pod. When a flower is pollinated by a pollinator, it becomes a seed pod. And you can see this is an old flower turned seed pod. And that's how you get these gorgeous plants. Now this guy, another spectacular flower. I do kind of like the muddied flower on here. One of their crosses. Here's a darling mini yellow flowers with the red lip, and it's a very dark red lip. It's hard to capture on camera how dark some of these plants are, but another one of their crosses here. And 
nice. And then look at this. I love that plant. It's got purple that almost runs from the center of the plant, bursts outward to the tips and has those flares with just a super dark inner lip. I don't see a name. I, if I recall correctly, this is one of their newer hybrids and that is incredible. Excited to see that on the market one day soon. Now check out this guy. Beautiful flower. I love the splashing of the white cream and dark purple with almost looks like a star. Beautiful flower. Let's see if we got a name. I do see it. it looks like Catlea Mahalo. I can't get the name out, unfortunately, but beautiful plant. Nice golden orange miniature. One of their crosses. And then this little plant up here, not so little. Really, really nice specimen plant there. Well, hopefully you can hear me through the fans, but I wanted to highlight this little white catlia with the yellow and purple on the lip. Another one that they're growing here. And now here is that dendrobium we saw earlier, but that is one huge specimen. Really nice plants here. We have another cymbidium. Looks like it's on its way out. Nice. Just white to cat Leia. Now, in this aisle, we have a lot of plants that are in bud, but here is a Gulf Green Hair Pig, is the name of that flower. I love that type. Really, really cool. And again, some of their beautiful cymbidium orchids that they have in bloom now this is one of mine and my mother's favorite type of orchids slower growers tend to be a little bit more finicky on the cattleya side they just need to be repotted at the right time but what a flower that is gorgeous now i'm going to stop in on this side and then we have some Miltonias in bloom. But we have this cute cat layup. Really nice plant. One of their hybrids here at Silva Orchids. And some more stunning cymbidiums. Now we are on this other side. This is where all of their historic cattleyas are. Uh, most of them are in bloom, or a lot of them, I should say, are in bloom. And these are gorgeous. This is a RLC Traveling Star. Beautiful, large white Catlia. And check out this. Another big white. This is another Nancy off Linwood. 
this is amazing. What a huge flower. This is, hopefully we can get the name. We can, there it is. nice flowers and then right next to it we have this beautiful plant here's the name puppy love Now look at this, this is really nice. It almost, it has these little, very, very delicate purple flashes on the corner of each flower petal on a huge white flower. Here's the name of this. This is another Nancy off Linwood but a really spectacular version of it. Or actually, I'm sorry, this came from a different flower. I'm sorry, that's not a Nancy off Linwood. That, that white over there is the Nancy off Linwood. This is this planet here. Another traveling star. Lipstick. As you can see, there's a Nancy off Linwood and the traveling star right next to each other. All right, another spectacular white. And look at just all the flowers. And they go on for days. Let's see if I can get the name. I think I can actually. Here we go. And that one has an FCC. And here's some more stunning whites like we saw earlier. Look at the dark purple lip on that Catlia. Wow we. I see the name down here. Let's see if I can show you that. Nice. Now this is a unique flower. Really beautiful plant. I know I'm saying all these plants are beautiful, but they are. That's this stunning little guy here. Now I'll show you this plant while I finish putting that guy's tag back in. Very important to make sure if you take the tag out, you put it right back in. Beautiful white cat Leia. This guy, unfortunately, you can't see super well. A little hard to show, but really nice flashes of red on that cat Leia, if you can see it. And a nice big yellow. Looks like the tag. I can't seem to get the tag there. And then this beautiful plant here. Okay. Well, folks, 
This is going to conclude my tour of Silva Orchids in New Jersey. I hope you enjoyed. I am excited for more tours and content in the future. Again, thank you so much. Over 600 subscribers, almost 700 subscribers already so far. Thank you so much to everybody and all who support me in this journey. I will continue to make content for you all. Thank you, Silva Orchids for letting me tour your facility and highlight your plants. If you're interested in learning more, I have more information in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. I'm Brian from Orchids by Brian, and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.